Samsung is gearing up to do something we've literally never seen before on a smartphone screen. And no, that's not an exaggeration. The upcoming Galaxy S26 Ultra is just a couple of months away, and if these leaks are real, Samsung might have just changed the game for display tech again. But before you get too excited, here's the catch. We're not going to see the S26 Ultra at Samsung's Unpacked event happening on October 21st. That event is for something completely different, and honestly, it's one of Samsung's biggest surprises yet. Stick around for that. Now, back to the S26 Ultra. It looks like Samsung's working on a display upgrade that only they could pull off. According to screenshots from the One UI 8.5 beta, Samsung is teasing a new privacy display feature that's got people seriously intrigued. This new mode acts just like a built-in privacy screen protector, except it's digital, meaning when it's turned on, anyone trying to peek from the sides won't be able to see what's on your screen. Subtle, smart, and extremely useful in real life. We've all had moments when we want to hide what's on our phone. Maybe you're texting, maybe it's private info, but traditional privacy protectors are annoying. They cost extra and usually make the screen less responsive. Samsung's new approach fixes that entirely. If Samsung pulls this off, it could change how smartphone displays are used in public. Imagine having that privacy filter built right into the system. No accessories needed, no compromising quality. That's what makes this a real innovation. And that's not even the only upgrade. The S26 Ultra's display will also debut with something that Apple isn't planning to use until next year, the COE display technology, giving Samsung a serious head start. This tech makes the screen thinner, brighter, and far more power efficient than anything on the market right now. It's designed to deliver richer colors and higher visibility, even under harsh lighting, a true leap beyond typical OLED panels. Samsung's approach this year isn't just about pushing brightness numbers higher. It's about real-world improvements. We're talking better anti-reflective performance, smarter privacy controls, and next-level efficiency thanks to COE. But just when you think everything's good news, Samsung has made one decision that's dividing fans fast. And depending on which side you're on, it might seriously frustrate you. I'll explain in just a second. Before that, quick shout out to today's sponsor, Opera Neon, a browser that's actually futuristic. It's not just a browser, it's a full-blown AI-powered assistant that works for you while you multitask. For example, you can literally tell Neon to find the first Galaxy S launch video and skip right to the reveal moment, and it'll do exactly that while you sit back. Yeah, it's that smart. And it doesn't stop there. You can ask Neon to summarize articles, find similar ones for deeper research, or even help you build small apps and games right from your browser. It's the kind of AI experience we've been waiting for. Plus, Neon has built-in Neon Cards, where you can just pick prompts like movie suggestions or tech news, and boom, it curates results instantly. The future of browsing has officially arrived. Check out the early access link below and join the waitlist now. Alright, back to Samsung. There's a rumor floating around that we might see an orange Galaxy S26 Ultra. And yes, I know what you're thinking, Apple just launched the Cosmic Orange iPhone 17 Pro series. Naturally, people started shouting that Samsung is copying Apple again. But here's where it gets interesting. Samsung actually released orange flagship phones long before Apple ever did, so maybe this is just a comeback, not a copy. It's built in collaboration with Google and Qualcomm, which means strong software support and solid AI integration right from day one. Honestly, this could be Samsung's biggest leap into the mixed reality space yet. And that's not all. Samsung is also preparing to unveil its first Galaxy G Fold, the company's long-awaited trifold phone. And here's the twist. This time, it's launching globally, not just in South Korea. If that's true, we're looking at one of the most powerful and futuristic devices Samsung's ever built. A phone, a tablet, and a productivity machine. 2025 might just be Samsung's boldest year yet. So, what do you think? Are these innovations enough to put Samsung ahead again? Drop your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.